Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Saturday, September 20th, around 6.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. A G1 geomagnetic storm has been issued in the coming days due to a plasma stream emanating from Coronal Hole 80. We also have frost and freeze warnings tonight for the Northeast, so take those sensitive plants inside. And keep calm. It's boom time. Severe thunderstorm warning issued Saturday for parts of southeast Wisconsin. The National Weather Service said the warning will be in effect until 6 p.m. tonight as the storms are moving through right now. We'll show you on the live map. So September storms also possible for central U.S. on Monday. Here is Tornado HQ. Dot com live severe weather map for severe weather warnings in Oklahoma, Missouri, and Texas. The most recent Garfield and Noble counties in Oklahoma, a severe thunderstorm warning. If you want to know the latest, head over to tornadohq.com live and we will check out the fire and smoke map. It's smoky in the east, not that much, uh, but the west is crystal clear. Lots of fire still burning, especially across all of Canada. And here is the full forecast. Heavy rainfall for portions of the west and central U.S. monitoring fire weather conditions in New England. There is a frost and freeze warning up there. Tropical moisture continues to flow across portions of the Great Basin, desert southwest, and California. Isolated instances of flash flooding remains possible. Meanwhile, a storm-associated frontal boundary will focus showers and thunderstorms for the center of the nation. For New England, dry and breezy conditions could enhance favorable fire weather. And again, frost and freeze warnings up for all of Maine and most of northern New England there. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is a temperature anomaly. It's going to be 12 to 14 degrees below normal in New England in those purple regions. We'll move through the regular GFS model here. Day by day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's going to be very rainy in the east on Thursday, Friday. And here we have a tropical system coming up at the end of the week into the Atlantic that may affect the Maritimes here. So that's the pattern. Let's take a look if there's any snow in the forecast because it's that time of year. So here is Sunday, Monday, some snow across into Alberta and BC there. Tuesday, we're going to have some high elevation snow, it looks like, from Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday here. A little bit more snow up in Canada. Nothing spectacular. We're only out of to the 26th there, six days out, but we are gonna see some snow in the high elevations early next week. And a quick look. Well, we can go back, let's jump back to the last run and that'll give us a little bit more time to take a look at a little more snowfall. See if anything big is in the horizon. Not really through the first week of October. New England could be t picking up some flurries in the first week of October there in Maine. It's insane. And now a look at total accumulated precipitation for any flooding threat in the near future. Yeah, it looks like in the center of the U.S. we could have a lot of flash flooding by midweek. And a significant cold wave is spreading into Western Europe, bringing severe weather to France, Italy, and the Alps. Over the last few days, temperatures have been unusually hot, with temperatures back in the 30s in many countries. This is thanks to an unusually warm wave with a heat dome over Europe's continent. This weekend, a significant cold wave will emerge in Western Europe, and it will spread east, shutting down the summer-like weather and bringing severe weather back to France, the Alpine region, and Italy. In fact, a dramatic temperature change is expected. Seismic update. We've got continued enhanced activity in the Kamchatka. What is this? 3.4 in Valmy, Nevada. That is a normal occurrence. And overall, low-level activity worldwide. And that brings us to Worldwide Volcano News. We'll do the short list 
nothing spectacular, just normal activity. Semadu eruption was reported today, Ibu to 7,000 feet, Liwatobi to 15,000, possible volcanic ash at Reventador. Fuego to 15,000, Popo to 22,000, Swanasima, 7,000 foot blast there, Sangay possible. Legit stuff there, look at the name of that. The Tenegar Caldera and in Indo. So hopefully that baby doesn't blow. Semadu to 14,000, Ibu to 7,000 feet, wrapping up the list. And that brings us to space weather and coronal hole 80. Although it is directly facing Earth, the plasma stream won't arrive for another 48 hours, and the geomagnetic storming forecast has a minor G1 geomagnetic storm for a few hours on September 22nd. Other than that, the last 24 hours, only sea flares, very low level, nothing spectacular, but there is one interesting sunspot that Lee and I discuss on our science show uh, later tonight. Active region 4220. So head over to the science show that I'm going to discuss in just a minute. Check it out. Scientists make an incredible breakthrough after aiming powerful lasers at diamond. Not me, but the mineral. An inherently brittle material. For the first time, researchers at the University of California, San Diego, witnessed diamond capsules undergo shock-induced amorphization, which is a major discovery with implications for fusion energy. Now, this article will be linked below. And speaking of interesting science articles, Lee and I on Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble. At 7 p.m., we'll be discussing evidence of a doomsday comet that wiped out the Clovis people 12,800 years ago and interstellar comet Atlas 31A. We also talk about that ring-shaped sunspot and a chat about nuclear energy. So coming up, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, already nine people waiting. That's pretty good news. And we've got another video following this one on YouTube tonight on Magnetic Reversal News. Avi Loeb suggests Comet Atlas 3i Atlas is a spaceship. Well, is it? I'll break down all the evidence or not evidence. Also, an update, the 2025 update for the World Magnetic Model. So join us over there. Support us on Rumble and YouTube. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Half of you are unsubscribed and we need your help to hit 100,000. And join us tonight for a double header. Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble at 7 p.m. And Magnetic Reversal News on YouTube at 8 p.m. And that is a double header boom. Be safe. We love you. Yeah, yeah.